Hey guys! We are the students from M2B and we are here to teach you about the quantum theory and the electron distribution. So today we're gonna we're gonna talk about the quantum theory or the quantum mechanics that explains the mathematical description of the wave of the properties of electrons and other small particles. And also, it suggests the probability of findings of electron at a given place around the nucleus. And also, um, it has a minimum required amount of energy for that. Part of that is the quantum number. The atomic orbital as well as the properties of electron in those orbitals, which is the sublevels S, P, D, and F, where S stands for sharp, P for principal. D for diffuse, and F for fundamental. The first part is principal quantum number, which indicates the size of the orbit. The bigger the n is the greater distance of an electron in the orbit from the nucleus. The atom is on the upper level of orbits. It absorbs energy. And if the atom is on lower level of orbits, it emits, emits energy. When we say ground state, it means the atom is normal or steady. And when it's The atom jumps or excited. This is the upper level of the orbit and this is electrons. And when we say it absorbs, it goes downward. And if it emits, it goes. The second element is azimuthal quantum number. It is also known as the angular momentum. It indicates go. It indicates the shape of the orbit. The sublevels S, P, B, F have distinct shapes for their orbits. Where sublevel S shape is spherical. Sublevel P is shaped longer. Sublevel B shaped over. The sublevel S is shaped. The azimuthal number for sharp is zero. The azimuthal number for principal is one. The azimuthal number for diffuse is two. And for the fundamental is three. Two. So magnetic quantum number is part of quantum theory. It provides the number of orbit in particular sublevel.
Electron distribution. Electron distribution is the understanding of chemical reaction. There are two types of electron distribution. The electron configuration and the orbital diagram. Electron distri distribution is symbols and orbital diagram is the boxes and the arrows. Number one example for that is the element Cl chlorine, which is the atomic number is 17. You have to get the electron distribution, which is equal to 17. That's why the first is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. configuration you have to make election distribution for this element which is s one box only on the, the election distribution and the election configuration for your element number or the your element you have to find your n your l your ml your m sub s in finding the n, you have to look on your election distribution, which is the last part, which is 3p5. n is 3. And for looking for L or your azimuthal quantum number, you have to 1 because it is p. Because remember, in a zumutal quantum number, S is 0, P is 1, D is 2, and M is 3. For find, for find the M sub L or your magnetic quantum, you have to base on this one, your boxes or your orbital diagram, which is your last part is 1, 2, 3 boxes, up, 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 and down, down, which is equal to number 5. In for that, you have to put zero on the middle of your box. And on the right side is one, positive one. And on the left side is negative one. And this is your last arrow, right? Then you have to put zero for that. That's why you find M sub L or your magnetic quantum number. And the last one is MS or M sub S stands for squid spin quantum number. Um, it is based on this one. It is based on your last arrow again. Because um, as we said a while ago, if it is up arrow, it is positive one half. And if it is down arrow, if it is negative one half. So in this one, in this case, um, you have um, you have arrow down. That's why you put negative one half. That's all.